Taylor Mao. Two balls and a strike to count on Taylor. Reyes fires. Swing and a drive. Deep left field. It's his way back. Walk the ball. Chris Taylor. What's up, everybody? Welcome into Dodger Heads, presented by DodgerBlue.com, part of the Blue Wire Podcast Network. My name is Jeff Spiegel, joined today by DodgerBlue.com managing editor Matthew Moreno. Matt, we, we get a pretty good sense of who's going to be on the field for the Dodgers. Uh, recently, we have gotten a pretty good sense of who is going to be a part of the broadcast team this year. Obviously, Joe Davis, Oral Hershiser returning. Steven Nelson is a new guy who we'll get to. A lot of the same faces we saw last year will be returning as well. Let's start with Nelson. Nelson is a polarizing figure in Dodgers land because of his involvement in Apple TV broadcast last year, which were a mixed bag. And I would say no think, no, no um, relationship to him. I think that was an Apple TV, some of the people around him issue. But Nelson joining the Dodgers kind of as the primary backup to Joe Davis, expected to call about 50 games for the Dodgers um, what do you make of, of Nelson and his involvement in Apple TV and whether or not he feels like he's going to be a good fit here in L.A.? Yeah, the Apple TV stuff I, I don't think can land uh, squarely on his shoulders, like you said. It, you know, that's producers, directors, and just, you know, kind of how all that was sort of pieced together, it seems like, on the fly. Uh, and I know he's discussed it with you in some of the interviews we have up on our YouTube channel. People want to look for them. Uh, and you and I touched on it in our long show earlier this week that, the, the three-man boost that they were putting together for Apple TV had no chance to really build any sort of cohesion or get to know each other. It was like, hey, Steven, this is so-and-so, this is so-and-so, you guys are going to be doing a game in an hour, right? Like, I mean, I'm exaggerating by with, by saying they only had an hour to kind of prepare, but it definitely seems like it was thrown to, thrown together last minute. And then, you know, needing to work and find chemistry, like that's not always going to happen right away. Uh, so I think he's definitely been unfairly kind of evaluated on that. Yeah. In terms of how he's going to fit, I think I think it's going to be great. And we've seen, you know, he's a Southern California kid. He's we've seen in videos that he's posted. Uh, he understands, you know, the the history with Dodgers broadcasting, and obviously, you know, it's Vince Scully, and then everybody else that yeah. has fallen in line behind him. And so I think he'll do great. And you know, it's it's uh, it's a nice opportunity for him, like I said, to come home to kind of in like in his words you know Joe Davis isn't going anywhere he's basically just keeping his seat warm and stuff like that so I, I think it'll work out well yeah I, I remember he he has been on our show twice and so I'm biased and I've said before look he is as nice a guy when we are not recording as anybody that I've come across in my interactions with people who have been on our show giving me so generous with this time 20 minutes after we click record hey how are you how's the family how are things going you know uh, when the whole deal got announced, I reached out to say congratulations. And he had a long message back saying, Hey, we're so excited. Thank you for everything. You know, so he's a great guy, but I think the important thing, more important than that for Dodgers fans, I'm guessing is the broadcast ability. And it's like you said, Apple TV got crushed. The first game that they did was on Jackie Robinson day. They had the Dodgers. Everybody felt like, why is this not on local TV? This is a big day for the Dodgers community. That wasn't his fault. The fact that he was paired with a couple of people, as you said, who I think he had mentioned, like they met the day before. That was the first in-person meeting they had ever had. Not his fault. The fact that Apple TV had atrocious statistics posted all over their broadcasts about the probability of a hit here that never seemed to jive with reality. Not his fault. And, and he's been open about some of that, too, and saying, look, we get criticized. And, you know, I agree. I agree with the criticism. So I think Dodgers fans, I would say, give this guy a fair chance. I think he's going to be great. Everybody that works with him says he's great at his job. If you've seen him on MLB Network or somewhere else, I would even say in the Apple TV, I enjoyed him as a broadcaster. So that's the new piece of this, Matt. The good news for Dodger fans is I think some of the popular people who, who joined the team last year, namely Dontrell Willis, is coming back. He's a guy that I thought was fantastic last season. Hugely excited to hear that he will be doing more games with the Dodgers this year. Yeah, I'm with you. I think, you know, he brought a, a kind of a fun element to the broadcast booth last year. And I think he also kind of grew, you know, a little bit more comfortable in that role. It was a transition for him. He'd obviously been doing Fox Studio work, but going from that to actually, you know, needing to sort of be an analyst and stuff like that in a booth is different. And I think we saw him sort of, like I said, uh, get more comfortable with that role as he broadcasted more games alongside Joe Davis. And I think the two of them honestly had a good rapport. They're both, you know, a little bit on the younger side. They understand the game. They keep uh, the game, they keep the focus on the game and what's happening, but also they can have fun and joke around and 
uh, yeah, I'm glad to see Don Trowell is back. And I know Eric Karros is back as well. And I think just, you know, he, he's somebody who's sort of synonymous, obviously, with Dodgers franchise history. And so to have those types of guys around is always nice. Yeah, Nomar Garcia Para, Jessica Mendoza, Tim Neverett, friend of the show. Uh, among the others, joining Joe Davis, Oral Hershiser, and, and the folks we have mentioned as well. And I think the bottom line for here, Matt, is the Dodgers are absolutely spoiled. These are elite people in their field, and we are lucky. Because if the Dodgers call you and say, do you want to join our team? Do you want to join Joe Davis and, and be a part of what's happening here? The answer is typically yes. This broadcast team is – the backup broadcast team for the Dodgers is better than the the primary broadcast team for a lot of fan bases out there. And so we are spoiled. It's a huge team. I love the diversity of thought, the diversity of character, the diversity just in general. Um, it's great. We're lucky as Dodger fans, I would say, to have this group, to have Sportsnet LA producing games the way that they do. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's it. You don't realize it until maybe you tune in to, like you said, you know, a broadcast for another team, or if you. Sometimes I was hoping me, you were going to mention a team right there. I was hoping you know <laughs> oh, you turn into a you know a, a Pittsburgh Pirates broadcast and you have no idea what to, what to expect. Yeah, I mean, honestly, what happens sometimes, like if you if you see highlights of you know a crazy play on Twitter or something, and it's a home broadcast, and you kind of listen. Sometimes even something like that, like just a forty five second one minute clip, will be like, oh man, like broadcasters are kind of weird like it's a little strange like it's not something i'm used to hearing yeah uh but yeah i mean sports in la the dodgers they they definitely have done a great job of putting a strong broadcast team together and a lot of those guys you know jerry harrison john hartung nomar garcia para you know lana rizzo who obviously was with them for a while before moving on to mlb network they've been with they've been with sports in la since the very beginning and i think yeah. that that's that's that matters and it's cool and you see it like I said, kind of in their relationships, because what I enjoy, too, is when they're able to kind of have banter with each other along with still delivering, you know, the news or the updates or, like I said, calling games. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. So good news, Dodgers fans, the folks that you enjoy on the broadcast will be returning. There's a new face who I think you're going to like very much who we're hoping to have back on the show soon as well. That's Matt Moreno. My name is Jeff Spiegel. As always, check out DodgerBlue.com, Dodger Blue 1958 on social media. A uh, shout out to Foco, by the way. They sent us some stuff, and uh, this is a sweet sweatshirt. So Foco USA, F O C O. Make sure you look them up. They've got cool bobbleheads. This sweatshirt's very comfortable. So thank you to them as well. Enjoy the rest of your day, and as always, go Dodgers.